What's up ladies and gentlemen, this is your friend Galactus here with the Platinum review for God of War Ragnarok. Now before we begin this review, we are going to be talking about the Platinum and some endgame content and you might see some endgame gameplay over here, so consider this your spoiler warning. Going on with the review, before I start talking about the game, I just wanted to tell you guys that Kratos is not just the God of War, Kratos was also the name of my dog. A member of my family, my very good, beautiful, handsome German Shepherd and we just lost him last week which was a very, very brutal, very sad moment for us like we are still mourning his loss and uh, this is one of the reasons I have not been putting out so many platinum reviews as I had planned recently. I hope you guys can understand that and if you can please keep him in your prayers and now let's get on with the game. We'll be breaking down this review into three parts. The first part will focus on the story and presentation. The second part will be focusing on the gameplay and the combat and the whole experience of the game. And the second part will be the performance. And after that, we are going to start talking about the trophy and the side content and side activities that we have to do to make sure that you unlock that shiny new platinum after your game. Let's start with the story and presentation. Before we talk about God of War Ragnarok in general, I just want you to know that God of War as a series and Kratos as a character is someone who has been very near and dear to me. Like I am, have been in love with this series since God of War 1. The epicness, the scale, the brutality, the angry Kratos. I have loved everything right from the start. Like this is the reason why my dog was named Kratos. And I think I have connected so much with this character with Kratos in general is because maybe I am as angry as he gets in those earlier games but I also used to feel like apart from being angry I also used to feel that Kratos was justified in his anger like if you think about all the things the gods did to him in the Greek mythology making him kill his mother making him kill his wife making him kill his child and then taking his brother away from him and then giving him a uh, throw a seat at their um, like Pantheon and then stripping him of his powers like everything taking away his army killing his uh, what do you call followers or devotees the Spartans so yeah any other sane person will uh, if he does not go insane will probably be really really mad and really really angry and God of War the series the entire series for me has always been an excuse to vent out my anger like to like anytime I'm feeling really angry or really upset about something like something has happened that has turned me off or like you know I'm like I want to uh, you know vent out my anger and frustration I always pick up God of War 3 and start doing the final Zeus fight where you can just keep punching Zeus in the end you can just keep tapping O and you it does not stop till you stop pressing O like if you guys have not played it yet I mean I would really suggest that you guys go try it out it is actually a very good uh, you know ex uh, excuse to vent out your anger and frustration if you have it i would really suggest go play god of war 3 and do the final zeus fight and you can just keep punching zeus like imagine anyone's face who you want to be punching and just keep doing that and you will yes you will feel a lot better that is a really good uh, anger management session that you can give yourself right now that was me showing my love for god of war the series and Kratos the character but now since we are talking about God of War Ragnarok let's talk about the game this game totally epic totally awesome like the story beats I am not going to get into details because I don't want to say anything about the story and I don't want to be totally spoiler heavy or something like we knew we know already that Atreus is Loki so that is how Kratos is now connected Integ uh, like he's now an integral part of the Norse mythology because he is Loki's actual father as you know like even in Norse mythology it does go that Odin did adopt Loki and he was like a son to him that part also they have shown like Odin does feel like Loki is his son at some point and he does try to bring Loki like Atreus on his side and Atreus also feels some sort of a connection to him and all that but I'm not going to get into the nitty gritty of it. What I'm going to tell you about it is that this game has some amazing story beats like really somber moments as well like the Fenrir moment of course since losing Kratos another thing which is really near and dear to me and the final Garm fight uh, the smart ways that they have taken control over the mythology and you know they have not tweaked it so much but they have done enough that you, it feels like Kratos actually is a natural part of this like so he's not someone who is shoehorned into this mythology to okay now Kratos is a character we have to take care of him we have to be like okay we have to feel something for him we have to believe 
that he is it it, is, it does not feel forced at any point you feel that yeah kratos is a part of the story and he has a very major role to play and he plays his role to perfection as of course the voice acting the presentation the story beats one touch one take camera the whole camera never cuts still even if they are, even when they are we are switching perspectives between characters it never cuts uh, they are very creative with it they do some nice tricks with that but everything so the presentation everywhere all around the board all across the board is really awesome one of the things i really want to highlight like without spoiling any main stuff or something like that, there are so many great moments in this game like there are moments in this game where i want to call some of my friend or you know just talk to my wife and tell her okay this thing happened and the game never stops like there are i would say in the first 6 hours of the game there are four or five moments where i'd be like okay i saw that moment that was awesome that was epic epic like the starting beginning kratos versus thor fight that was awesome in its own right so i'm like okay i'm good even if this game does not deliver any awesome or epic moment uh, like throughout the game i'm good because i got that one moment one big take away from that and the entire gameplay the rest of the gameplay and the combat loop is okay it is satisfying it is good so i'm still good with the game but they do not stop they keep giving you moment out of uh, after moment set piece after set piece like great stuff back to back they keep hitting you with it it just keeps ramping up it never stops like when i played this game when i finished this game i was like okay this is over and i was like how does it compare to the 2018 god of war like i know it's a bit wrong to draw such comparisons because these are two like although they are the same series but they are very different games in the sense that god of war 2018 was introducing us to kratos in the norse mythology and letting us know there was a bit of a mystery about it like we did not know that atreus was loki at this point so we were like just how is kratos going to be you know entangled in all this and we thought that it was kratos doing that he fought balder or maybe he killed balder and then we found out that balder can be killed and we have to now do something and find some trick to finally kill balder and all those things but yeah so there there was an air of mystery about it and we did not know what the journey was we did not know their mother her mother was a giant she, she could like uh, kratos's wife was a giant and she could see the future and all those things so it is a different game in that sense i don't think it is a fair to compare them beat for beat so i think individually god of war ragnarok stands as its own masterpiece and god of war 2018 stands as its own masterpiece and both games are amazing but if you are comparing like i believe god of war 2018 had like that one big moment where athena shows up and kratos is like i'm not your monster anymore this one has a lot of these moments back to back so comparing moment wise like big epic moment wise god of war ragnarok absolutely delivers on all fronts like there are so much so many things that i just want to like i can take a whole day and talk about god of war ragnarok so i'm going to stop now and let's move on with the gameplay talking about the gameplay i mean come on like gameplay was always awesome like I, it's really great how they have made the leviathan axe feel right at home like you don't even question now that kratos never had this axe before like this is the thor's hammer feel that we always wanted this is like thor has the hammer kratos has the axe it's pretty much the similar thing like the axe coming into your hand whenever you're fighting and all those things always awesome the blades of chaos we have them back we have them from the first game they are still awesome they have added a lot of move set a lot of skills and everything into the game there are different types of enemies to fight there are some different status effects and ailments that can be inflicted on kratos and that we can inflict on the enemies so that is all awesome uh just a little spoiler if you guys want to know that or not but we do guys play as atreus as well and while i did not like atreus i did not enjoy atreus as much as i did enjoy playing with kratos like every time i was playing with atreus i was like okay let me be kratos again because atreus is not that strong he does not have the power game he does not have the rage mode or anything atreus is more skill more dodging more defensive play and you know finding the opening to hit the opponents but even atreus they have done justice to him playing him with him feels good feels natural and that is i think everything you can say about it like it does not feel shoe horned in it does not feel like a gimmick it feels good it feels right up there in terms of quality with how good playing with kratos feels that is all i will say and that is a good thing one more thing they did add one more weapon for kratos the dropnir spear and like the more you play with that spear you understand like this is a really really cool weapon i mean i know this is this gives it the proper spartan feel like that the spear has that whole 
like a ribbon or something wrapped around it like a spartan spear like we have seen in the 300 movies and everything so that it feels good it really feels good i mean since you, when you get the spear right at the start you might be like okay my blades are already stronger my axe is already strong you have a playstyle defined and you might feel like okay i don't have to do this i don't have to play with the spear unless i have to like some story beats force you to play with the spear but you are like okay apart from that i can just check it away but no play with the spear guys the spear on its own like all these weapons everything the shields everything the parry system different types of shields we have this time everything adds up everything has its own system everything has its own mechanics you can play this game on easy you cannot have to worry about everything you cannot have to worry about anything you can just do what you're doing you can press l1 r1 l1 plus r1 l2 r2 and you're done that's it but if you do get into it if you do want to play this if you do want to ramp up the difficulty or you want more of a challenge or you want to get better of this game there is depth there it is not like another assassin's creed or something like that where okay playing it on easy you get everything you want to get out of the game you can go as deep as you want like this is something like as they have already said the combat director has already said that they are inspired by neo and the neo series is one of the series which is, i believe has the best pure gameplay the best pure sword play and fighting game play third person fighting game play that is in ever game any game ever like the best game play that is in any game ever fighting game play and this game like they have said that they love it and they are inspired by it and it shows like there is depth there there is real like this is the one thing i really enjoy because i play a lot of games this is what happens with ubisoft games or some other games like i'm going after ubisoft it's not just ubisoft it's just on the top of my head but a lot of games like when you start playing them they have some cool mechanics they have some cool new skills they feel good but by the end of the game you are you have been doing the same uh, setup you have been using the same tricks for 50000 times and now you're tired now you're bored even in final fantasy it happens to a bit but final fantasy we'll talk about final fantasy rebirth when we get into its review but for now what i want to say that this game has a lot of depth and if you want to make things easier for yourself if you want to make kratos even stronger like because my goal when playing as kratos was to make him as possibly strong as you can focus on the favors guys the labors uh, for every move set is there that there is like if you hit a couple uh, a particular move enough times then it gets leveled up and it does more damage and you unlock more skills for it like it's just buff it's passive buffs you don't have to actively equip them or anything do that do that for all the skills and all the moves that kratos has and you will feel much more better like with the end game stuff if you're playing on a normal on any any difficulty higher than normal and you're trying to do the end game bosses and the end game challenges like na and hotar whatever his name is hotar or something i keep mispronouncing his name sorry but uh, these things will like uh, you can get really good at them and you they, it will make it really easy to tackle these challenges on a higher difficulties if you have finished those labors the game also has a new game plus mode and they did add a very good rogue like that is how good the game plays because i for me personally i was just looking for any excuse to get into get back into god of Ra- god of war ragnarok just play more god of war that is what i was looking for but the dlc they have added is actually good because the gameplay is so deep and now in the dlc as you guys if you guys have played it you can see that it forces you to play a certain way and when you are forced to play a certain way you understand that okay this game had all these mechanics which i have been ignoring and that is i believe a very good testament to for the developers for what they have done that even though they have made an amazing world they have made a beautiful world and they can probably get away with just the epicness of it and the scale of it and how good the presentation of it all is they have also invested as much time in refining the gameplay in making sure every single blow you land hits it feels like it's hitting your uh, dual sense vibrates you get the thump every time you call back the axe every time you're spinning the blades or every time you're throwing the spear and you're slamming the hilt down you feel everything and even in gameplay in sound and mechanics everything you feel that and that is amazing that is truly truly amazing now talking about the performance gonna keep it short there is nothing much to say about performance everything is good across the board there are like almost no bugs or glitches anywhere i did not run into anything apart from my character clipping into the terrain one or two times but i think that's a given like maybe that's already fixed by now i played the game at launch and the game has a graphics mode it has a performance mode it looks absolutely beautiful and stunning there are moments there are scenes in this game 
there are areas and places there are different biomes which are you know like crafted very beautifully very spectacularly you do get to visit all the realms this time and every realm does stand out with its own unique biodiversity or geological diversity as you might say it feels good it looks good everything is good across the board nothing to say about the performance it's awesome since this is a platinum review let's talk about that shiny platinum the trophies for this game are very easy like i think they are easier than they should have been they could have put something of a challenge in there if they wanted to but i am okay with it uh, with it either way so as i said the trophies are very easy i would say there is like a 3 or 4 out of 10 difficulty depending on your playstyle depending on the type of games you play and it's going to take you anywhere between 20 to 30 hours it has it does have some really good puzzles as well so yeah, yeah unlocking all those trophies finding all the collectibles you know solving all, all those puzzles is really fun and yeah about the puzzles there is that nagging thing that uh, atreus or loki or any of your companion you do have they do talk a lot when you are trying to attempt a puzzle, particular puzzle and you have don't have the equipment or something to do it right away they do keep saying it like you don't have to figure it out you do something you start the puzzle you hit something random and they will be like oh maybe you can do that oh maybe hit that maybe do that you it it gets annoying at some points like that is one minor nag with it that they do keep talking and i am like okay let me solve it myself like i don't want your help i'll ask for your help when i want your help so that's there but apart from that very easy trophy wise nothing much to worry about we do have a valkyrie fight here uh, we are fighting gnar this time we do we are not fighting all the valkyries as the last game instead of fighting all valkyries this time we are fighting these kings this uh, cursed kings and we are taking the hilts of their swords and that is the difficult trophy here that the last uh, king is very very difficult he ramps up in difficulty really and gana also ramps up in difficulty really highly so yeah that is one thing that um, i would say may be a little bit of an obstacle but if you can you are playing on easy or if as i said you have done all the labors and all your moves are leveled up then you will not have much trouble with them as well they do provide a good challenge a welcome challenge where you have to get in touch with the mechanics of the game a bit you need to get your parries down and everything down so it is fun it's like the whole of the platinum is fun i would really urge you to do the platinum of this game because one of the best areas in this game like in my personal opinion one of the best areas in this in this game where you find another frozen lightning bolt is actually a side area it's completely optional if you only have to do it if you're going after the trophy so i would really suggest going for the platinum for this game and also make like keep a mind keep an eye out for when you do go to that area because who what companion you can take to that area with you changes depending on where you are in terms of the story and your interactions also change depending on the companion you have so that's all i will say about it just uh, make sure that where there is a quest to follow a dog make sure you have like for me i would suggest make sure you have a trace with you at that point and go follow that dog right away and get that quest done and you will understand everything once you start it this brings us to the scores now before i score this game i just want you guys to know that i am doing another video where i'll be explaining my review scale in depth and letting you know what every score means going forward so you guys can have a better understanding of it but on that video what i'm going to say that what 10 means for me is that a particular game that i'm scoring a 10 is not just a masterpiece it's not just perfect it's not just highly recommended or as close or as good to perfect as it can get for that type of game but it also is a timeless game that it is a timeless masterpiece that even if 10 years from now or 15 years from now even when time has moved on when gaming has gone to new places when new technologies have been invented this game will still be a must play unless they change something basic with the design of this game like they did with overwatch or something which i don't think is going to happen because this is a single player game but unless they change something drastic this game is always going to be a 10 any time anyone picks it up and plays it this will be a 10 out of 10 and that same statement goes for the platinum of this game as well that is a 10 out of 10 it is a bit difficult it's a bit on the nose you might not agree with the platinum re- review there but really really like any excuse you have any excuse i have personally to play more of god of war ragnarok is a good excuse that is it, it keeps bringing you back you are sad when this is over when this game was over i 
only had remorse or regret not like oh this game is over oh like okay i'm done with this or like oh man i wish i could play more of this i wish i could have more of this i'm not saying they did not have they kept anything lacking in the content or the story or they did not do anything i wanted them to do or anything it's just that i wish there was more i wish there were two thoughts to fight i wish there were three odins anything just more so yeah platinum review and the game review is a full 10 out of 10 and i would really really suggest that you guys go play it so that has been the platinum review of god of war ragnarok ladies and gentlemen as much as talking about the game and talking about kratos reminds me of my boy and fills my heart up i had a really a lot of fun talking to you guys about it and hey you guys know about me and kratos you guys know something more personal about me and i like that so i hope you enjoyed it please do remember to like share and subscribe your love and your support means a lot and as always please wherever you are stay safe stay healthy and stay busy playing some good games this is your friend collectors signing off